Hi, good morning. My name is Tullio Moneta. I'm a South African and Italian citizen. I was a senior officer in the 5th Commando of my crew in the Congo during the 60s, fighting the rebels. I'm here because I want to talk to you about something very interesting. Uh, after my battles, I was working for the intelligence service for the Western democracies against the Marxist um, and communist regimes, which now, of course, they are a very sad memory. I'm here in Italy, in the Marcus, in the province of Macerata, in the valley of the river Chinti. What we are seeing is a beautiful Romanist church, the Abbey of San Claudio. But there is something hidden, secret, concealed from me. Some researchers, historians, archaeologists, scientists, academics say that Charlemagne was born, lived, and died in Baldikin. They say that the Palatine Chapel built by the Emperor Charlemagne was this one then transformed into a bay. It has two towers, it has two floors, as they had the real Paladin Chapel of Charlemagne. And here in this area, it was the legendary Aachen, the capital of the Ho Holy Roman Emperor of Charlemagne. The Europe of Charlemagne was born here in Italy, in the Marcus in the Chientis Valley. But we all know that the Palatine Chapel, where rests the body of Charlemagne, is in Germany, in Aachen. The chronicles say that the uh, Emperor Charlemagne was buried here, under the entrance of this chapel. Hello, Mr. Charlemagne, are you still there? Oh, <laughs> I've seen you on the, of course, those days they didn't speak English. People spoke French. Est-ce que vous êtes là, les problèmes? Anche il francese. French, maybe, maybe I could try Latin. But I don't know the language, I'm sorry. Inside the church, there is an inscription in Latin, said there recently, which says the Charles is buried here. So, who is buried in Aachen? Supporters of the Palatine Chapel in Val de Quinti say that the one built by Charlemagne had four columns, as it is written in the Carolingian Chronicles. While in Aachen, as eight columns, it was built by Frederick Barbarossa, in the 12th century, after which he had taken away the body from here and the treasures of the Palatine Chapel. With the approval of the church, so that would have reclaimed the territories of the Holy Roman Empire in Italy. In Aachen, there would be ruins from the time of Charlemagne, neither above nor below the ground. Here, at the time of Charles, there was no ceiling, but an open top. The Latin chapel of Charles had two side towers, each with a spiral staircase leading to the upper church. And this one is one of the two staircases. Okay, let's go now to the upper church. Ah. I hit my head. I told you to be careful.
There was an open space here where the queen and the lady of the court would watch the performance done by the actors down below. Now, let's think about the Germans. You think they would give up the opportunity of having Charlemagne bearing in Aachen with the one million and a half tourists every year? Uh, seems improbable. And uh, I don't know, it could be a third world war. 